Welcome back to another video. In the next two videos, possibly three, I'll be creating a health manager for our game. So the, the purpose of the health manager is to assign health bars to our units and manage their health, get rid of the health bars when they're dead. And the reason we need a manager for this is because we are going to use Sprite Manager to display the health bars. So to begin with, I just want to review what we have so far. We have a Sprite Manager object, which, which we created in the previous video and we have a material called health bar sprite sheet there it is so we have um, 100 bars depending on how much health the, the unit has that goes from a full health right the way down to zero so this is the sprite sheet we've simply attached it to the sprite manager and in the example we did previously we drew the sprite on the client object here which we don't need anymore because we're going to create separate clients in each of our units in the game Okay, so I'm going to delete this client object and um, begin from scratch. So we're going to keep this sprite manager object in the game though. So in this video, I'd like, first I'd like to prepare the scene. So we need separate client objects for each of our units in the game. So for example, with our humanoid robot, firstly we need to, to check that the layer is unit and we don't want any of these child objects to be units. So be careful of that one. Within this, I'm going to create a new game object, drag it in, and I'm going to call this health bar. So we can go to the top view and then simply move it into place. I'm going to go above the head. And this is what we need to do with our humanoid robot. So as you guys know, if you've been following along, we store the prefabs of our units in the resources folder. I'm just going to replace the humanoid robot now. So we need to do the same thing for our robot. So I'm, again, I'm checking the layers just in case this layer is called units. We just want to change this to default and the children. And I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to create, this is going to be the client objects for our health bar. Dragging it in the robot. And again, let's go to the top view and stick this into the robot. Bring it up above his head. Okay, and again, let's replace the prefab of this unit. The last unit we have is the solar farm. So let's just do that again very quickly. Again, I'm going to see if, yep, we need to change the layer from units to default. So a quick way to change all of the children is to just change the, the uh, topmost layer. I'm going to change it again to units, but this time don't change the children. Remember to change our select mesh. Everything else is fine. Okay, so again, one more time, adding the batch, uh, the health bar, dragging it in the solar farm. So it's up to you guys where to put the health bar, but I'm just going to roughly put it in the middle. Yeah, that's about right, I think. Cool. So. One last time, I'm going to replace the solar farm. Okay, so this is all I wanted to do in the scene, I think. So going back to this health bar in each of our units, um, I want to add a script onto this. And this script is just going to store an object which refers to the sprite itself, the health bar sprite we are going to create. So I'm going to do that now, create another script. I'm going to call this health bar client. And then I'm going to go to our prefabs and simply drag it on each one of them. Humanoid robot, our little tin robot, and the solar farm. Cool, and it should update. Cool, so that was a quick way of updating your prefabs. Okay, so within this script, I'd like to simply, like I said, store the sprite. It's only going to be one line of code. It's going to be called public sprite my health bar sprite. I'm going to call it that. Okay, so this is all the setup we need in our scene. So now we can focus on the manager itself. So to do this, I'm going to introduce some events and delegates into the game. We've, we've went over events and delegates in the past. The reason is, is because we need to add a health bar every time a new unit is created and to remove the health bar when the unit is destroyed in the game. Okay, so I'm going to add a uh, C-sharp script. I'm going to call it 
unit controller. I'm going to open this up and this is just going to be a very quick uh, event and delegate turnaround. So I'm going to make a public delegate void. I'm going to call this unit event handler. And for now we're going to bring in a unit game object. So like we did before, public static event unit event handler. This one's going to be called on unit spawn. Going to do the same thing on unit dead. These are our events and I'm going to make some static methods to call these events. So I'm going to call this call unit spawn. Bring in the game object. And another one for the unit dead. Call unit dead. Then we can say if there are subscribers to these, we can call them. And the same thing for the unit dead. So if on unit dead doesn't equal no, if there are subscribers to this event on unit dead. I'm gonna call it. Okay, so this is the setup done for this. And um, the next thing we need is a the health controller or the health manager. So one more script, health manager. And within the health manager, we are going to control the health bars. So we're deleting everything out. So void start. On the start method, I'd like to subscribe to these events to know when a unit is being spawned and dead. So we can say unit controller on unit spawn. And the method I want to create here is going to be called add health bar to unit spawned. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for the unit dead. So unit controller on unit dead plus equals remove health bar to unit dead. Okay, almost done with the setup here. So I'm going to make a uh, public void and this needs to match the signature of the delegate so bringing in the unit and going to set up this as well remove health bar to unit okay so when a new unit is spawned add the health bar remove health bar when unit is dead so just to give you guys a background of what we're going to do in the next video, we're going to add a health bar sprite to the client object, which is the health bar client. And um, all this is going to do is remove it, remove the sprite. Remove the health bar sprite. Okay, so simple as that. So in the next video, we're going to work out a way to add health bars to the units that have already been spawned in the game when the game first begins. And then we're going to use the events and delegates to add uh, health bars to the new units. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.